Hello everyone, I hope you're well, staying safe and healthy. Welcome to the first video on Wananchi Reviews where you can find your average Joe's opinion on tech, electronics, lifestyle, food, and many more. I wanted to start with my current desktop setup because it's something I see every day and use every day and show its evolution as the channel grows. If you've ever watched a desk setup before, you've heard words like ultimate productivity, modern clean setup, or minimal setup. I don't think I can categorize my desk setup as any of those. The things on my desk are basically products I bought based on my needs, DIY handmade items I made, or stuff I found lying around. Over the past year, my desk setup has evolved because of the unusual amount of time I spent at home, both working and for general use, such as watching movies, listening to music, and gaming. But I've slowly been able to build my setup to something I'm happy with, despite the little money I've spent. I would in no way recommend my approach, but I hope it can inspire your setups. So let's start with the body of the desk setup, which is the desk. I've had this desk since I was in primary school. It was initially a bit smaller, but I did some work on it with various items and tools I had available in the house. I added a 22.5 by 12 inch wood piece on the left hand side plus a 34 by 4 inch front flank from a pallet on the front. This helped increase my working space to a total of 48 by 22.5 inches. I then covered it with wood veneer to give it a cleaner finish. It isn't my best work but it does the job. I cannot put a price on it because it's an old desk and it costs me nothing to expand. So let's move on next to what I call the makeup of the desk, which is the tabletop and the TV wall shelf. These are also DIY projects. I needed to put my displays on risers so as to position them symmetrically and increase the space I had available. Luckily at the moment, I had a lot of time on my hands and I was getting an interest in woodwork. They were inspired by designs I saw either on Instagram, YouTube or Pinterest. I used wood pallets, sanded them, cut them to size. They also cost me nothing and they've served me well so far. The tabletop doesn't sit flush to the desk because of how the desk stand out, but I was able to hide that from my line of sight. The desk has three drawers where I keep daily necessities and random things I need at hand's distance, such as notepads, hard drives, flash disks, batteries, stationary calculator, and cables, etc. My cable management is laughable. I tried to use as many items as I could find around me. As you can tell, at the end of the day, as long as your cables are hidden, right? I use screws and electrical tape to hold the cables together, and when I push my chair in, everything is hidden. I have two external displays on my setup. The main display is a Samsung E450 series monitor. It's a 21.5 inch Full HD with a resolution of 1920x1080. It's a 60Hz 16x9 aspect ratio desktop monitor. It's an LED backlit LCD screen that delivers bright sharp images and is packed with features that provide a comfortable viewing experience for people who are usually on screens for long periods. It has low glare TN panel, eye saver mode, flicker free and magic angle technology. It has a sleek slim bezel design that takes up minimal desk space. It has two connectivity options available with DVI and VGA. It comes with a fully adjustable stand with height, tilt, swivel, pivot features and supports visa mounting. I bought it for 18,000 shillings two to three years ago, but I think now you can get one for as low as 8,000 shillings. My second display is a Sony KDL 32R 420B. It was released in May 2014, so it's a really, really, really old TV. It has a 32 inch 1366 by 768 resolution HD ready panel measuring 16 by 9 and at 120 hertz. It has decent viewing angles and supports both Dolby Digital and Dolby Pulse. 
In terms of connectivity, it offers various video in component options. It has two HDMI inputs in total, compatible with MHL and PC, with HDMI audio in, headphone output, digital optical cable audio out, one USB-A port and cable antenna. It has a decent speaker system, even though I rarely use them, with two dun firing speakers, sound booster, steady sound, and both DTS digital and Dolby digital output. Let's move on to the next item, which is the heart and soul of the setup. I have a JVC MX JD8 surround sound system with two front main speakers, a subwoofer, a center speaker, and two surround speakers. It supports both Dolby Digital Pro Logic, Digital DTS Surround, and Extended Super Bass. It has amazing sound quality, and its large speakers give the setup some character. I rarely use it to its full capacity because of my neighbors. It can be connected via optical digital output, but I use aux cables more often than not. It has various video out options, including S-Video, but sadly the disc tray doesn't work, which isn't much of a problem because who uses discs? Out of everything in my setup, I think I appreciate this the most and have had it the longest. The brains of my setup is my HP ProBook 440G1, which I purchased around two to three years ago. It has a 14 inch LED backlit display with a resolution of 1366 by 768 at 60 Hz. Under the hood is an Intel Core i7 processor clocking at 2.2 GHz. In terms of memory and storage, it has 8 GB RAM and a 500 GB hard drive. My favorite feature on this laptop is its connection options with both VGA and HDMI ports. The VGA port supports resolutions of up to 1920 by 1080 on a external displays at 60 Hz and the HDMI port supports direct connections to high definition displays with a 1920 by 1200 resolution at 60 Hz and 7 channel audio Intel HD 4600 graphics. That means I can connect it both to my TV and my monitor at the same time. I got it running Windows 10 Pro but it's now running Linux, Ubuntu, which is a long story and content for another day. It's well built, has good upward firing speakers, which I use when on the go. Taking everything into account, it does what it needs to. In terms of peripherals, I have a Retro Dell SK8115 full-sized 104K keyboard. It's a wired US English version keyboard, which is a bit weird when using a UK English version laptop. When the hinges on the back are opened, it elevates to a high level, making it easy to type and keeps your hands at a comfortable angle. I guess you can say for its age, it's a little bit stylish. The fact that it's shaped around its keys and not rectangular like a box makes it looks interesting. It works on USB, so it's compatible with all new PCs and it's easy to plug in. It has comfortable and soft keys making it easy to type for long periods. The keys are soft and type when gently pressed. The length of the USB cable provides just long enough for all setups. The mouse is a slim white 2.4 GHz optical mouse with a receiver. I've had like four of these. I bought it on Jumia. It costs 450 shillings and gives you exactly what you pay for. Maybe a little bit better. I like it because of its form and price. It works properly even from around 2 meters away. Which brings me to something I recently bought that saves my life. This is a Bluetooth dongle. I got it for cheap on Jumia to reduce the amount of cables I needed to plug into my laptop. And so far, it has been amazing. It functions well, however, there is a slight delay especially on movies and series, which is not always noticeable. I try and only use it for music and YouTube and connect directly when watching movies. Next is the only gaming I have on my setup right now. 
This is the 2008 version of the PSP handheld console and I've had it since like 2009 or 2010. It was one of the cooler systems and if I'm being honest, was a big part of my childhood, second to the Game Boy Advance. In early quarantine days, I stumbled upon it while I was cleaning the house. I looked for the charger, bought a memory card and installed custom software, unlocking its many possibilities. I now get to play vintage games, homebrews and simulations for free. This is the last of my DIY items on my desk. It was a bit difficult to see what was on my desk at night because I sit in front of the light. I use cables from a broken table lamp and a one by one wood piece plus a clamp to make my own adjustable reading lamp. It's not all smiles when it comes to my setup. It's missing a desk pad and a mouse pad. They provide a safe, protective, non-slip working surface and allow the mouse to measure movement accurately and without jitter. Some mouse pads also increase ergonomics by providing a padded wrist rest, although the benefits are debatable. I would love to upgrade my laptop to something newer and preferably with a USB-C port or Thunderbolt port. They reduce the amount of cables on the desk, especially with a dock. Ultimately, this means that your peripheral devices will all be connected with one connector as it becomes more prevalent. A laptop with a dedicated graphics card would also allow me to use my dual screen setup more effectively. The laptop struggles when using two external monitors and the fan gets really noisy. The webcam and microphone are really abysmal. I use my phone most of the time for video calls. I love my keyboard, but I need to switch to a backlit wireless keyboard, preferably with a better mouse. My chair is not the most comfortable and I keep on hitting my legs on the backboard panel. The clearance in the desk also doesn't allow use of bigger, better chairs. The table, as I said, isn't flat, so it wobbles a bit. A wireless charger on my desk and more decorative pieces would also be nice. In addition to a drink coaster, to spare me from the coffee mug stains. Thank you for watching my video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment and let me know what you think about my setup or things I should change. I'll leave a link in the description to my Instagram and my Twitter. I hope to talk to you guys soon and look out for my next video. Thank you.